Hi, and welcome to your 12th lecture in Russian for Complete Beginners, in which we will focus on learning how to use verbs in past tense and how to use adverbs of time. Now, so far we have studied verbs in the present tense. We know that there are two groups or conjugations in Russian, first and second, and we also know that we don't use the verb to be in the present tense. So, to say, I am a director, all we need is two words. Я директор. Now let's see what happens when we need to use the verb in the past tense to talk about what we did yesterday or last year. Now the principle of the past tense formation in Russian is pretty straightforward. The main thing to remember is that we form past tense from the infinitive form of the verb. There is a more detailed explanation of this in the supplementary material attached to this lecture. Remember that infinitive form is the form of the verb that we find in a dictionary and is an equivalent to English to run, to work, to do. So to form the past tense, all we have to do is drop or replace the infinitive ending, the soft sign, and for masculine, use L, for feminine, use LA, for neuter, use LO, and for plural, use ли. As a result, the verb to be in the past tense becomes был in masculine, была in feminine, было in neuter, and были in plural. Now let's see how we can form more past tense from these two verbs to work, работать, and to watch, смотреть. Now we can tell that работает is a first group verb because it has a in front of its infinitive ending and смотреть is a second group verb because it has е in front of its infinitive ending. So the verb to work in masculine past tense becomes работал. In feminine past tense it becomes работала. In neuter past tense it becomes Работала. In plural past tense, it becomes работали. To watch in masculine past tense becomes смотрел. In feminine past tense, it becomes смотрела. In neuter past tense, it becomes смотрела. In plural past tense, it becomes смотрели. Now let's have a look at some new adverbs of time. As usual, I will read each word out twice, so please repeat after me. Всегда. Всегда. Обычно. Обычно. Часто. Часто. Иногда. Иногда. Редко. Редко. Никогда. Никогда. Каждый день. Каждый день. Раньше. Раньше. Весь день. Весь день. Вчера. Вчера. Сегодня. Сегодня. Завтра. Завтра. Excellent. Well done. Now please note that word today, сегодня, is pronounced with a V instead of G sound, which was mentioned in supplementary materials in previous lectures. We can now start using these adverbs of time to talk about how often we do things. Now, two other words that we're going to study today are уже, which was mentioned in lecture 10 and stands for already, and еще. Еще. Now, еще has quite a few meanings, such as not yet, still, or else, which depend on the context. And we'll see in a second how we can use them in a conversation. I will read each dialogue till the end first and then translate it. Ты работаешь? Нет, я еще не работаю. Я еще студентка. 
You can see that we have used you sure here twice in different meanings. The choice of the meaning will depend on the context. In the first phrase, я еще не работаю describes an action that hasn't yet started. Whereas in the second phrase, я еще студентка, it describes an action that is still going on. So it becomes, do you work? No, I'm not working yet. I am still a student. Let's have a look at the second dialogue. Ты студентка? Нет, я уже работаю. Я менеджер. Are you a student? No, I'm already working. I'm a manager. You sure can be used with such question tags as что, what, to say what else, что еще. Now let's see how this new material can be used in a conversation. For that, we will turn to the Bailey family that we talked about in lecture 7. I will read each paragraph till the end first and then translate it. Please feel free to pause and rewind at any time to practice your pronunciation and understanding of the text. Папа Джон. Он программист. Он работает каждый день. Поэтому он не часто отдыхает. Dad John. He is a programmer. He works every day. That's why he rarely rests. Notice that we can turn часто often into rarely by adding не, not in front of it. Мама Анна. Она не работает и любит изучать иностранные языки. Анна обычно читает английские и французские учебники. Мам Анна. She doesn't work and she loves to study foreign languages. Anna usually reads English and French textbooks. Дочка Наташа. Она студентка. Наташа иногда слушает радио и читает газеты в интернете. Daughter Natasha. She's a student. Natasha sometimes listens to the radio and reads newspapers on the internet. Сын Максим. Он школьник. Максим не любит делать уроки. Он обычно играет. Сан Максим. He's a schoolboy. Максим doesn't like to do homework. He usually plays. Now note the usage of the word уроки, lessons, with the verb to do, which turns it into to do homework. Бабушка Элизабет и дедушка Ричард. Они на пенсии. Элизабет и Ричард не любят триллеры, поэтому они никогда не смотрят их. Они всегда читают утренние и вечерние новости. Grandma Elizabeth and Granddad Richard. They are retired. Elizabeth and Richard don't love thrillers. That's why they never watch them. They always read morning and evening news. Notice the use of the phrase на пенсии, which means to be retired, and is similar to the word that we've seen before, пенсионеры, pensioners. Also notice the usage of the negative never, никогда, which is followed by the negative particle not. We use double negative in Russian. So when using the word never, always remember to have negative near in front of the verb as well. Никогда не. Не любят here can work as don't love or really don't like. Let's go through these new words together. Please repeat after me. Поэтому. Иностранные. Учебники. Газеты. Триллеры. Уроки. Now the last section of today's lecture contains information on how to use familiar words such as morning, day, evening and night, утро, день, вечер, ночь, in a slightly different form. Please note that these forms are not the same as those studied as part of the lesson on telling time. 
We have seen how to say nine o'clock in the morning or nine o'clock in the evening. Remember that those forms are literally translated as off the morning or off the evening and therefore can only be used in time phrases. These new forms here literally stand for in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening and at night and can be used on their own without indication of time. Let's go through them together. Please repeat after me. Utram Utram Dnom Dnom Vecherom Vecherom Nochiu Nochiu Notice the difference between Pechisov at the Rania Utra, five o'clock, it's an early morning, and Utram Yavsigda Slushu Novisti. In the morning, I always listen to the news. Now let's see how we can use all of this new material in a conversation. I will read each dialogue till the end and then translate it. Anna, как часто вы ужинаете вместе? Не часто. Раньше мы ужинали вместе каждый вечер, но теперь Джон весь вечер работает. А вы? И мы не часто. Мы предпочитаем обедать вместе, а ужинать отдельно. Анна, how often do you have dinner together? Not often. Before, we used to have dinner together every evening. But now, John works whole evening. And you? Us too, or we also don't have it often. We prefer to have lunch together and to have dinner separately. John, когда Максим делает уроки? Обычно вечером. Он не любит делать уроки. Раньше мы всегда делали уроки вместе, а теперь никогда не делаем, потому что я много работаю. John, when does Maxim do his homework? Usually in the evening. He doesn't like to do his homework. Before, we always used to do homework together, but now we never do, because I work a lot. Now you will remember a word for now that we have studied before, see just. Here we have a very similar word, however, теперь tends to be used in relation to a previous action. For example, I used to work in an office, but now I work from home. In this sentence, we talk about two actions, one of which happened before. Whereas сейчас, which is also translated as now, doesn't really have to be linked to a previous action. It can just be used in a sentence such as right now I am working, without any reference to what happened before. However, like I said, they are very similar in meaning and are both translated as now. Well done. You have worked really hard in this lecture and have done really well. You have learned how to use verbs in past tense and also studied new adverbs of time. Overall, including the additional vocabulary in the supplementary materials attached to this lecture, you have familiarized yourselves with 25 new Russian words. As usual, remember to download the supplementary material which contains additional new vocabulary and more information on how to form past tense of verbs as well as the test yourself file which contains exercises designed to reinforce the new information covered in this lecture. Thank you for today and speak to you soon.